All right, beginning of another recording session. Looks like last time we finished the steady handers, I remember that that was a device that was supposed to make our characters better at aiming, which just seems like a good good change overall because a lot of our characters don't have the best hit chances, and if I can rely on them hitting all the time, we're just in a better situation. The pillar pitcher, right? That's the thing that lets us add pillars, barbo. Need to destroy 15 bulwarks. Uh, they can pier uh, It's a shot that pierces through things. Ultra Elixir is a more powerful healing item. Yeah, mostly the item. These are mostly all the items we've seen before. Let's see. It's very tempting to build another keep of some kind just to keep everyone growing, but it's just so goddamn expensive. I might invest in armor. Let's see. Last time we made better Caberjack armor. We have advanced Caberjack armor. It takes 20 years. Should I look into weapons? I could give us a, I could give us better caber weapons to make us more powerful with melee since I already improved our crossbow training. It is starting to feel like we're gonna have to look into being some kind of higher tier situation. Let's see, can I make new heroes more powerful? I cannot. Oh, I thought that was gonna be an ongoing thing. Okay, wow, we've, we've researched more than I thought we did, kind of. Okay. Do I build a new keep and spend like 16 to 18 years doing that? I might want to build a new Sage Rites guild. We're going to have a large population of rabbits getting older. So if I build the Sage Rites, another Sage Rites guild... Yeah, that's probably the right thing to do. I'm looking at all these years and I'm like, everything's going to take forever. If I build a new Sage Rites guild, then that would reduce that problem. And since I've taken steps to improve our population, it should be easier to do- it should be easier to, uh, recruit people into this thing and keep it manned so we can reduce our research costs. That might be the pattern I follow, is build a keep, build a Sage Rites Guild, build a Crucible. Because then this, the Crucible will then improve our pop, our population's experience gain. I'm gonna build it over here in this empty spot over here. Specifically because it's the- it's on the other side of the map for my other Sage Rites Guild. So if I start losing that piece of the map, then this one... We'll be safe still, I guess. Let's give that a shot. That seems worthwhile. I do have a booming population of little babies, and by the time that's done, more and more people will actually be at, a, at an age where it's reasonable to plan for that kind of thing. Now let's push forward. No! We lost someone at the Sage Rites Guild. Go figure. Age of 64 is surprisingly young. Well, I need these guys to give me bo boosts. What kind of options do I have? We have a- ooh! We actually have a decent intuition... A decent intuition level, uh, rabbit. I might look into that. What, what, what are their details like? Increased accuracy is good. Slow experience gain, so they're not going to be getting improved much by... In, uh, more exposure to combat. And I have a number of- he's a blast capper, and I have a number of blast cappers to use in combat, so I don't have to worry about him being missed that much. He probably had, uh... Let's see, and as he, as he gets older, he'll have even higher intuition, so he'll go up from 11 to, I believe, 12, 13? So he's actually helpful. Uh, this stage right will reduce the current research time by, wow, a year and a third. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and send this Hoss Rabbit in. Just adding to the pile. Wow, that level 2 character has surprisingly high intuition. Okay. Keeping things manned, that's one, a rare case of us sending a male character in there. A lot of our sage rights, I feel like, have been almost exclusively female. Baby! We got we a new baby. We can't decide on what the right move is here. So, we require a third party. Oh, is that so? Okay, a standard baby. Or a standard baby! Your standard, Man Agreed, has reluctantly come forward with Christopher Rabbit to give you some surprising news. They've had a child together. Wow. Without, uh, without your approval. In war, every decision must be arrived at carefully with much thought and consideration. Your heroes cannot see how their choices will affect the future like you and uh, can, like you can, and such decisions must always be made by you. What do you do? Huh. Jesus Christ. It's like, exile both of them, but keep the baby. That's horrifying. I need babies. Also, holy shit, the rabbits like to have babies every- Oh my god, their ages- 
Jesus, Christopher Rabbit, you had sex with a 70, 67 year old. How, she, is she still, she's still capable of having babies at that age? Let's see, I can give the, uh... I can, I can either exile them, give the baby to an orphanage as an, ex, as a, an example, or let the baby choose who, who will stay and who will be... What? Let the baby choose who will stay and who will be exiled. Wow. First of all, how do you let a baby choose anything? It's a baby. But also, I can't just say, oh, you had a baby, okay. I can't forgive this action. Jesus Christ. So I either keep the baby or I keep them, but not the other way around. That's insane. I mean, I don't want to lose my standard, although they are 67 year old, years old and going to be gone soon. Do I keep the baby? This is... concerning. Letting the baby choose just seems monstrous. But ripping... Jesus Christ, you, there's literally no option that is just keep everyone together. You have to rip apart this family no matter what option you get. And that's a weird series of choices. There's no... There's, there's, I was expecting an option that was like, Oh yeah, let them do what they want. But that's gonna come to bite you in the ass because you're giving them wiggle room and now they're gonna... They're gonna abuse that. Let's see here. Christopher Rabbit, what are you like? Oh cool, you're stupid. With reduced accuracy. You're dim-witted and nervous and impressionable. Wait. Wait, he's impressionable and a rebel. That's a weird mix right there. The funny thing is you can't even pick one to exile. So like you can't be like, I want to keep this one but not the other one. This, oh yeah, that's why she's still alive. She has longevity. Jesus Christ. Uh... I think I'm gonna- I think I'm gonna put the baby in an orphanage? Or... I feel like I wanna keep the baby and one of them. Let the baby choose who will stay and who will be exiled. That's- that doesn't make any sense though, is the problem. Like, let the baby choose is probably the best choice from a mechanical standpoint of wanting to keep one of these characters, but also wanting to keep a newborn character. But I think I'm gonna go with keep, give the baby to an orphanage, because exiling them seems crazy. A sinking feeling. The nuns let Mana and Christopher have one last moment with their baby before rolling her carriage away. Your heroes put up a brave face as the great doors close, but their silence unnerves you. Mana, Greed, and Christopher Rabbit have gained the disheartened personality. I mean, you guys did this to me. You, I didn't get a choice. I mean, I literally didn't get a choice. Decreased movement speed accuracy and evasion. Jesus Christ. Oh, that's a great... That's a great trait for my trainer to have. Hopefully she dies soon. That's concern. That's a horrible thing to say, but... Man! Those are terrible options. Alright, pushing forward. Baby! Ah, Thomas Wicker from, Ros from Moss Rock Manor has died at the age of 61. Was that our hunter? Which one were you? Appoint a new regent. That's the only Wicker option. An eight-year-old. Ah. They'll be, ba they'll be able to have babies soon though, right? Ah, my, I lost my hunter. Advanced crossbow training. Increased intelligence, decreased movement range. That's a bummer trait, but I don't want to... I don't want to destroy the family, so we're gonna have to put them in here. Alright, let's go with a... Uh, should I go with the high fertility? Let's see, high fertility is probably my best option if I want to have a lot of hunters coming out. Especially since these people will give us enforcers, which is handy. Which one of you has good traits? Their names are Mercedes and Chie. Probably want to go... Most likely want to go with Mercedes because of the age similarity. So Chie doesn't die earlier. So Bountiful, Puny, and uh, makes daughters. I would rather have even distribution of children and genders if possible. High intelligence, impressionable. Bountiful, Tranquil, that's great. And Stalwart, these are all good traits. Alright, Mercedes. Congratulations. You're married to someone half your age. Don't worry, he'll grow into the role. And your vagina. That was gross. Wait, what did I do? Oh. I accidentally backed out of this a little bit. There we go. Did I do it, did I do it now? House Wicker. Do they have, they have an eight? It says they have a. Is that a, Oh, right. He still counts as a trainee. 
because he's an eight-year-old. All right, so no new hunters for a little while. Did they not have a single baby, or did their babies already grow up? That's a not a great person to have die. Oh my God, so many babies! Sorely felt during this year's festivities. Ballista Day definitely won't be as fun now. We definitely know that time has passed when one of the rabbits died. Wow. The, our stupid, like, <laughs> this was our family of, uh, these are the people that we had set up as being like, uh, what do you call them? Uh, they were just like baby farms. And they were like, when their traits made them seem like inbred hick idiot characters. At least when we started out, they were like dim-witted and slow, but I'm like, you're gonna make so many babies? And I'm probably gonna go for that again. Let's see. I can go with a level four female. Uh, decreased accuracy, that's not a great trait. Sickly with reduced hit points. Uh, asthmatic. These are none of those are good traits. All right. Well, you have high fertility. Decreased strength. That won't really matter if you. Oh wait, it's gonna matter because you're making blast cappers. Unless I want to change them to something else. Uh, increased chance to have children. Good. Daughters. That's not great. Can I, is there one that doesn't have a tendency towards daughters? There's gonna be a ton of female daughter, uh, female rabbits everywhere. Age 29, somewhat experienced. Uh, maybe I should go for average fertility. What about the male? Impressionable, dim-witted. Doesn't really matter for a melee character. Decreased accuracy. Rebel. I'd rather not have decreased accuracy. Damn it, everyone has decreased accuracy in this- this whole family is a bummer. But they make- at least they give me, like, warm bodies to put everywhere. I might just have to accept that. Yeah, I might just have to put Chie in here to get a- and a big family out of her. So who do I want to put- give with you? Let's see, so my understanding is that the... I think it's the regent effects, the base class, and the the uh, the uh, partner affects the subclass, basically. So, well, a blast. Uh, one of these characters has to be. They're all blast cappers, right? Yeah, they're exclusively exclusively blast cappers. So I, I can't pick an, a, a variant that's going to give me anything else. So it's basically, do I want Shadow Jack or Caber Jacks? And I think I want Shadow Jacks because having characters, having characters that can uh, run around like that. Let's see, do we have high fertility? Not. We have, we have super high, which is pretty much the best we can get. Uh, yep. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna. I'd rather have a Shadow Jack if I can, because then they have stealth at least. Regular Kyber Jacks just have knockback, which isn't always the most useful thing. Nearsighted, not the best scouting. Dimwitted, rebel, optimistic. Oh, cool! He lies about traits. Faint-hearted. These are all really unfortunate traits. I might go with the Caberjack just with a chance of getting slightly better stats out of it. Oh, longer lifespan. That's handy. Asthmatic, but quick experience gain. Ah, uh, young at heart. That's great. This person is... Wow. Wow. Longevity and young at heart in the same character means they're going to live for a long time and not get negative traits for being old. That's fantastic. Although it also means they're not good uh, scholars, but this this whole family doesn't have good intelligence to begin with usually. I think I'm going to put Elg in there. They're also really similar ages, which is handy. And they have two babies coming up, and hopefully they'll make a whole lot more. Oh, my regents and stuff are dying. Stop it. Nothing clears the head like a good battle. Literally, in some cases, correct? Look at you, making jokes. This one reduces current research time. And this bottom one will give me a newborn baby girl. New characters are always handy. It's a good resource. I think in many cases I'll prioritize whatever one's more corrupted. But in this case, they're both equally corrupted. And this one has my crucible, so I'm going to prioritize that. Getting a new character doesn't hurt either. So who am I sending in? Yeah, one of my one of my heroes became a regent. Let's go ahead and upgrade our hunter's stats. I can choose honed hearing for better scouting or put it down. Bonus damage to low health. Absolutely. 
That'll be great, especially for enemies like the uh, Bulwarks that just take so many goddamn hits to go down and every hit has to count. Currently have one Blast Capper, one Capper Jack, and two Hunters. Everyone's a different house right now. That's an interesting mix. Who's that? Jenny Harcourt is a Caberjack. Let's see. With this setup, I would probably prefer to have... Ooh, we have an Alchemist. But he's age 61. Shit. That's really problematic. Ah, <laughs> uh, if, if I had a young Alchemist, I'd love to train them up and then marry them off to ha make a bunch of Alchemist babies. But right now, that guy's not going to do me much good at all, really. Mr. Cheezus. Let's see, Tyrion. Age 60. These are way too old of characters to be training now. There's a Blast Capper, age 16. I like the idea of having a Blast Capper, too, because they have those nice exploding attacks. Details? Bonus Dexterity, slow learner. That's not great. Quick. Good movement. I think I'll give her a chance. Uh, unlock charge so she can run. Alright, what items do I want to give her? Do I want to have her have health vial or... Let's see, my choices are health vial or steady hander. Bonus 10% accuracy. Okay. I think, I, I don't think I'll give those to the melee characters, but I'm probably going to give them to the ranged characters. I think the melee characters benefit from being able to heal. So we have two blast cappers that have AoE melee. We have two hunters. That'll be handy. Should I get wait, we, since we have two melee characters, should I should I have made her Should I have made her a ranged character too, maybe? We have an enforcer. H42 is not great. She's a shadow cloak. Another slow learner. Oh, increased sight range. She's often drunk. That's annoying. I think I can. I think I can benefit from having a uh, another ranged character in here, though, because we have we've had we've had way too many uh, melee characters in previous runs. All right, so you're gonna get steady hander. I'm gonna put a steady hander on all of my ranged characters to give them bonus accuracy, since they're already not likely to take a ton of damage because they're melee characters. And my melee characters have their, uh, their health vials. One of which, this, uh, Catherine Rabbit here, bonus slot, so she has two health vials. I guess the question there is, do I want... I'd be tempted to give her a steady hand or two. I think I like the idea of her having two health vials, because that means that we're holding three health vials. And if anyone in the party needs healing, we can actually pass it off. Alright, let's go ahead and get into combat. We have lapses and wrinklers. Oh. Gonna have to watch out or people are gonna get older. I definitely don't regret bringing arranged characters in then. Good luck. Break a leg. Or 11. Gonna break so many enemy legs. Break 11 legs? I only have five party members. That's morbid, right? Move the microphone. My bad? Alright, so. Just gonna have to start scouting forward, right? And start with the uh, caber jacks that are up front. Move them to the extent of their movement range without sprinting, with the hopes of spotting someone. Not yet. Anyone over here? Is this whole level over here? Oh yeah, my camera goes. My camera goes over here. Is this no? Okay, that's not a level. I'll pivot my camera then, so that our blind spot behind our behind our camera is the end end of the level. So we have a cone shape. Or we can go up for here. Oh, is that the end of the, ma the map too? That's also the end of the map. So the map goes out here, and that's the whole map. And it looks- oh yeah, it goes for a while. And there's ruins up there. Alright, we're gonna move forward more with our melee characters to try to detect enemies. Here's the first ones detected. Hopefully they can't reach us necessarily. Ow, oh, this character can't get into range to shoot them at all. Can this one? Nope. So we can't get into range to attack. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a defensive position. Hopefully they can't reach us from there. And we're just gonna have to get into uh, get into fighting positions with our, our various uh, ranged characters. Uh, 
I admittedly don't entirely know what the obscured stat does. Maybe it'll show up here. Obscured is not listed here. Stats. Is it reduced sight for them or for enemies? Like, does it make them harder to detect? I'll have to remember to try to look that up later or something. I don't entirely know what the obscured stat does. And this character's drunk. Cool. May have not wanted to bring them along. Yeah, I don't think they have sufficient movement speed to reach us. So we can do a lot of damage to them. As far as I know, Wrinklers are melee only, so they can't do anything special. Ah. This character just became a rebel because of their impressionable trait. Really? In the first round of the fight? Okay. And this person is often drunk. Drunk. A few too many bottles before battle may increase strength, but lowers dexterity, intelligence, and sight. So Reveler is a good trait for melee characters, probably, then. So they have minus two sight, but otherwise good, ac good accuracy and stuff. And that's going to do a lot of damage. Let's see, knockback shot. Who here has follow-up? You do. Oh yeah, this is going to hurt. Confirm. Oh yeah, finish it off. There we go. Wrinkler taken care of before anyone could take any health damage. Now we just need to approach with our, me our melee characters. See if they can spot anyone as we come in. Let's see, there's a concern that someone might be hanging out over here, right? So I'm gonna try to move in the right position to see. Looks empty. Oh, there's the enemy. Oh, and we're in range. We have to be careful about this. And I'm in a position where I can't aim at that character, unfortunately. So my best option is to go... It's amazing how often I'm one movement away from being able to reach someone. I guess the AI must be doing that on purpose. Let's see, this character can still move, right? Alright. Let's back off a little bit. Try to stay out of its movement range so it doesn't come up, come back and hit me. And just get these uh, melee characters in range. I mean these ranged characters in range to be able to aim properly if it approaches. Come on, Wrinkler. Oh, there you go. Who's a good boy? Not you. You're going to die horribly. Alright. Who's the youngest character here? 42. 39. If, give, if given the option, I should give the youngest character as many kills as pro possible to potentially make a, high, a really high level character. This guy's level 4. Level 5 at age 30. Yeah, Shadow Cloaks. Ah. But he's got reduced lifespan and mostly negative traits. Nope, we're gonna pro. I think out of this part party, we should probably prioritize Catherine as a high level character. Let's see here, sixty-eight. All right, someone can do damage to this guy to start things off. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, approach just to make forward progress through the, through the level. Put a dent into how much we have to do. You can do the same. 11 to 40 damage. Alright, cool. Get a little closer to our goal and then shoot him. And then we're gonna finish him off with our... our blast capper. Who should kill. Nope. That's a glancing blow. Well, that's not good. Alright, well, I guess someone else is gonna get the kill then. Save the day, Mr. Heart Disease. Heart Disease, save the day! Good example of put a downs effect, because that guy did way ex a lot of extra da damage for uh, someone who wasn't particularly strong. Pushing forward for scouting reasons. We're looking at the corner of the map again here, so this this bridge is our next goal. Can I know? Oh, lapses are, in front, are ahead of us. All right, enemy is spotted. Can I move anyone in range to shoot? I don't think I can. So we're going to want to back off then. Try to lure them out if they approach us. And we're just going to run in with our various characters. This is just a whole turn of uh, closing ground, basically. Alright, let's see if they approach us. Yep, there's one. Is it going to attack us? Nope, just moving twice. That's what I was hoping for. Lapses don't move very fast, thankfully. Alright, so you're... There's Catherine. Can Catherine one-shot one of them? Yes. I'm gonna say go for that. There we go. 
Knockback happens now, but it's not too bad. Oh no, we stunned way more people than I thought we would. Not including Catherine, go figure. Alright, Horace, what can you do? Pretty well, apparently. Let's move forward. Want to keep our characters moving forward so we don't spend so much time slowly inching through the level. Our drunk character's still here. Can't spot anyone and we have to wait for some people to wake up, so we'll, we'll stop here. I'm always caught off guard by just how effective stun is and how much of a range it covers when that happens. Losing a turn to recover. Yep, at least we, ca at least we still have one melee character, Catherine. Do you have reduced sight? You get something bad. Oh, you're an asthmatic. Okay. Can we spot someone? Oh, there's one, and I can't move, so we have to hope they can't reach us. They probably can't. They might be able to hit us with ranged attacks, but they can't reach us otherwise. There's one little divot over here that might have a guy hanging out in it, which would not be ideal. But for the most part, I think we're doing good. Just getting our melee, our ranged characters in range to wipe that thing out as it approaches. Or I might kill it with a Catherine, or it'll run away. All right, cool. You guys are wake up, wake up now. Uh, we'll move them afterwards. They're not going to reach us anyway. Hello. I'm moving them afterwards so they don't have to run around any of my current characters, so they'll have maximum movement. Let's see, can, can I move anywhere to shoot this thing? I can, right here. Okay. Let's go for it then. Hello, friend. We'll do a follow-up to try to wipe you out. Oh, wait. Is a normal shot gonna kill you? Oh, a normal shot will kill you. Alright. Take him, Horace. Is Horace the character I gave the super bow to? I think it is. So he's got some negative traits now, unfortunately, but, uh... Yeah, he has birthright, so we want to keep that leveling up so we can give it to other characters and keep making it a more powerful weapon. Gonna have to find another Shadow Cloak, though. Oh, wait, we have another one in the party. Is that the Shadow Cloak? Yep, Dana Shadow Cloak. So if he dies of heart disease, she can keep using the bow, and they can pass it on to someone else later. This character has children? When did you have children? You're not the- you're not a regent. You have a spouse? Wait, can... can partners go in... Are partners able to go into combat? I did not necessarily realize that. It's admittedly hard to keep track of all the characters in this game. I didn't real. yeah, I didn't, I didn't know that was an option. Alright. Start sprinting across with our characters that are now behind. As fast as we can. And you can move forward a little more. Oh, there's one. I might have moved right into range, too. Uh-oh. No. That's a bummer. I was trying to make her stronger. I'm going to punish you for this. Should I do this? I could, do, I could put myself in some serious trouble here. Fuck it. Literally YOLO. Got knocked back. I did not get stunned. And... And there's a, there's a uh, wrinkler over there somewhere. Let's see if I can get into range to shoot it. I didn't spot it, because you're drunk and you have terrible line of sight. That's a, that's a bummer. Maybe I can spot it with this character? Nope. Literally can't see it. Alright, we're going to stop here. So I don't want to go charging too far forward. You're going to get me in trouble. Alright, so we just need to be aware of the... of the fact that there's a wrinkler hanging out over there. Oh, another, another lapse. We got this. They've never been, lapses have never been particularly threatening. Can I cross this river over here? There might be a bridge over there. It looks like the level keeps going for a little while. They probably expect me to go through all those ruins. All right. I'm gonna run forward with my blast cap. I mean my caberjack, and attempt to spot bad guys. They move to the ringler. That's a little spooky. See, do I go for the kill? I cannot reach it. Keep pressing forward to scout. Oh, that's a lot of wrinklers in the area. Okay. 
Can I move to a position where I can shoot that guy? He's really hidden. Someone's going to take a hit from that wrinkler, aren't they? Oh, uh, this be this would be a good example of when it'd be handy to have an alchemist around. Uh, we're in trouble now. Know where this character moves will put them in range, unfortunately. I guess my best option here is just to make sure I take out, uh... Yeah. I just want to take out the, uh... The laps. And put my characters otherwise in range so that they can react. Can you move backwards at all? Oh, you can. Let's back you up. You already sprinted though, right? Maybe the wrinkler won't notice you? Maybe we're out of line of sight. We want to get you in the right position to shoot that lapse this turn. With your crazy damage and hit chance. There we go, more experience for Horus. And Rubinia, let's get you caught up. We've got a job to do. I'll have you stealth. So you don't get surprise attacked by anything. If I'm lucky, we're out of line of sight and won't get- Nope, he still came and got us. Yep, oh, there's five years on that character. Is that a character I care about? Oh, he's already a little old. He's level five- Oh, that's my one of my level fives. He, that is kind of a bummer then. I can do some serious damage to him. Should I try to kill him or should I try to give someone else the kill? kind of want to give Catherine the kill. They're almost- Yeah, they're pretty close to level five. Let's do double melee on these characters. Especially since it'll give us the chance to attract, uh... To get line of sight on bad guys, potentially. Let's see, I'll pick a new path. There we go. It'll give me some better line of sight on other enemies. Another lapse. So we have two lapses and a wrinkler. Let's see if I can get into range. I can shoot the wrinkler. Alright. I'll be able to do how much damage? Let's find out. Alright. I can do- I have knockback. Let's just go for hitting it. Now someone else should be able to kill it, right? Uh... Yeah, Horus. Horus is gonna do just enough. Stop that- nope! That's a bummer. Alright. Uh... Other Caberjack, wipe out this, uh... Wrinkler. And it's a glancing blow, that's a problem. It's a good thing I have one... One archer waiting here with a distressingly low hit chance. What the hell? Uh, let's do what we can here. Please hit. Fuck. I did not... I did not consider that we could not... Kill the wrinkler. Alright, it's a bad day for that character. Damn it, I was so sure... I, uh, at least hit the same character, I guess. That's a lot of da that damage. he's taking damage. This is bad. I didn't really think about the idea of not being able to... Okay, yep, that character's totally fucked. I was so sure we were, we were gonna be able to kill it. In fact, I thought we were gonna be able to kill both Wrinklers. But glancing blows killed... Uh, saved one. He just died from old age. Holy shit. He literally was in right range of every enemy. That was... I completely ruined that. Alright. Vengeance! Fuck. Goddamn glancing blows. What's that character's hit chance? This person's not optimistic, are they? No? Alright, that's a bummer. Let's see what we can do here. Well, we need to kill this wrinkler. That's a distressing hit chance. But he's not gonna be much better for other characters either. Let's try to get this one without moving. There we go. Alright, the other characters can probably kill the other... The lapses. We lost a character in combat. That's a bummer. Maybe they left a relic behind. Let's see, you have a 100% chance of hitting, right? Yep. So let's go for that 100%. And then we'll just see if our other character is going to get the shot or not. Let's see, moving closer increases accuracy, doesn't it? I think. Let's just go for it. Please land the shot. You have such a high chance of hitting. Oh no. She has like a 50-50 chance of actually doing enough damage to kill. Knockback shot does reduce damage. That's not gonna. That's not gonna save me. All right, go for it. Fuck. Did not properly consider the chance of not doing enough damage. Oh, they're going for my character. I'm trying to level. Those shits. 
Well, you've 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 prepped me for another opportunity to hit you in the face now tell me that wasn't fun. and get and get a fun asthma attack. She she hasn't leveled up yet, has she? She will at the end of the at the mission, though, like that. There's no such thing as a war without casualties. Anyone who thinks differently is an idiot. All right, I completely screwed our greed caber jack, and that went terribly. But hey, Horace got six kills and is level six now. Uh, Catherine's level five, so good progress overall. We just we unfortunately lost a character. I think they aged 15 years. I think there were 48 when that mission started. That's really unfortunate. I put him in a really bad position where I was like, oh yeah, we'll scout a little bit, and I have faith in my archers. We'll be able to hit everybody and just wipe them out. And there was both more enemies than I predicted being in front of us. Our tactics team rescued a baby girl who shall be trained out to keep. That's better than what happened with the dead people. All right. I have to pick a keep to train it at. Choose a home for a brand new hero. These people are too young. Uh, oh wait, isn't this where... Is this the one where people are like young at heart and... Oh yeah, training class enforcer. Caberjack. Caberjack. Enforcer. Wow, I've really binaried my classes together. I'm gonna put them at the, within the Shadow Cloak house, I think. Oh yeah, our Shadow Cloak Shadow Cloak's a strong family. We want we want to we want them spreading. All right, you guys have fun with your rabbit partner. That's a glowing that's a growing family. All right, guys, thanks for watching like always and next time we should make progress towards building that Sage Rights guild hopefully and maybe making up for some of the death that I've caused. Whoops.